What's up, y'all? Part two. Deuces, Second yo. take. We had a wardrobe change. <laughs> I took my scarf off and you put yours on. We got a wardrobe change. <laughs> Peep it out. You know okay, Harry, ever tell the story. Stop the first. Okay, at me. can I tell my side? Let me. Why you did all the talking on the first right, video? The first day. Let me talk. No, because you, you. First day, y'all. Be like this long. First day. First day. Tell it right. Tell the truth. We went to. We went no, to. No, 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 no. Okay, let no, me at least tell where I was going. The first, okay, let me start. First day. Uh, we decided to. Uh, I made plans to go see my homie in concert. It was Blau, Erica Badu, maybe somebody else. Can't remember. Oh, those two. Oh, uh, those two. They were at uh, Radio City Music Hall. Radio City Music Hall. Wow. New York City. And so we decided to go get something to eat before, which was Houston uh, now, restaurant. Now, 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 here's the thing. That's that's the plans that we made. Now, you understand, at that time, I was a very greedy person. I like to eat, okay? So, for me, the concert was cool, but where we eat? For him, it was all about the concert. But we didn't know that yet. Okay. Now, what had happened was... Hey, this take two, and it's still like two in the morning. It yeah, is. Two something in the morning. Whatever. New York, whatever, whatever. New York City never sleeps. So, we show up at Houston's not having made reservations, or they didn't take reservations, or whatever. And this was like, what, a Thursday, Friday night? Something like that. I think it was Valentine's Day. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, wow. Oh, no, this is, uh, yeah, because it's all for y'all. Y'all got to come to our Valentine's show. We still didn't tell you. We're going to tell them, but we the story, tell you the they, first we gonna, that's all right. That's all right. Okay. So, yeah, so we make plans to go to Houston's. It's like two blocks down from Radio City, I think on 6th Avenue, right? And I'm like, all right, cool, because I'm excited about the food. They got these nachos and this dip. and Okay, so we show up like probably an hour before the concert, maybe, maybe 45 minutes, you know. There's a long line. It's like a 45-minute wait. Yeah, we got there because there's no reservations, so we get there. Bad planning. We get there. We gotta wait for 45 minutes, and we wait, and we wait. Marcus is getting in, seeing his dad. He wants to see the show. Show. Come on, Instead speed it up, speed it up. Instead of at Houston's, y'all, we walked down the street and went to Mickey Actually, D's. Actually, drove. We drove, because that's a little Oh, way. we drove? We drove to Mickey D's. However, we got there, yes. No, First but day, you don't get, but no, but this was gonna get you. Okay, I'm gonna let you tell your story. Okay, keep going. So we went to McDonald's, right? And so, I, at the time, I was eating stuff like McDonald's. So I got like a happy meal, you know, super size fry. We went upstairs. I was happy because I was like, you I know didn't what? eat nothing on me. Well, no, because here's the thing. We're sitting there, and swole. he's he was so slow because it was like 15 was minutes upset. till showtime, and I'm like, she take it. Is she gonna wait till the last minute? I and then so I mad. start because I thought, here's the thing. I thought he was slow because he felt bad that we ended up eating at McDonald's. No, absolutely not. Well, now I knew that. We didn't know each other that well then. I mean, I was taking my good time. Like, I put the fries inside the burger on the melted cheese. I was like, how, how could you not care about getting to the concert on time? Because I was eating. Are so you still like that? Not as bad, but you know. So okay. I gotta eat. Don't so eat fast forward, hungry. so she ate a meal. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. this is when the St. Louis come out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go with me, y'all. See, in St. Louis, they got what you call scalpel tickets you can buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, this brother was selling some tickets on the street. But I didn't know anything about this. So I bought some tickets from this brother on the street. And so we get good and good. What did I just say? Good and good. Good, good and tired. All right. Got in, got into Radio City Music Hall, sitting in our seat. Chilling. The loud was on stage like, so, so. Oh, sister, do believe my soul. Like, Yo, and the usher came over and was like, uh, let me see uh, your tickets. Because I think somebody got these seats. So I gladly church, did the church thing while my boy was singing. <laughs> Made a long watch. It was time for us to make our exit, amen? I didn't and know so, what was going on. So I was like, Jim, we got to roll. Cause I ain't know. I'm like, yo. And so this, but, but this is the crazy part. Let me tell, let me, let me tell you what the, what the crazy part about it is. So we, so we leave Radio City Music Hall. Well, wait a minute, cause we went to the thing, right? No. We went to the ticket counter. Like, no, 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 no. I ain't that crazy. No, I would never do that. No, no, no. You see, you get locked up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, it's roll. So this is what we did. We went outside. 
<laughs> Wait, do they understand that these tickets was bootleg? Okay, they, yeah, but in St. Louis, they sell tickets on the street, which is bootleg. cool. Which is like legit tickets. This dude brought bootleg tickets. That's the first time that I realized, I didn't know tickets was like bootleg. Like, I thought tickets need to get rid of and they... Well, you know what? Never mind. Forgive me, Lord. I can't be lying. And you get them on the street because they're cheaper. You can bargain. Okay. So, I can't remember. 20 of these? Wow. So, I got it. So, this is what happened. I think Robert probably was playing glass, but I'm just Robert. random. was probably playing with a uh, block. That's my home. Our homies. Both our homies. Schoolmates. New school. Shout anyway, out. Anyway. Okay, okay. So, this was crazy. So, I ended up seeing the cat that sold me the tickets. So, the hustle came out in me. So he got hustled. I said, hey man, those tickets that you sold us didn't work. But man, I think they looking for you. But I need to get my money back. That dude gave me my money back and he rolled. First date. McDonald's, bootleg tickets. Now I'm telling you this now. New fellas, don't take, don't take your lady on the first date to McDonald's. That was in a situation that was out of hunger. I was trying to go to Houston. So don't make it look like, hey, I'm on top and of my game. Plans ahead that was just her. Like like, leave really early, get your reservations. Well, we're still working on that. So, listen, this is how we're going to tie Leave in. on time? What, that oh, yeah, 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 right. Make your you. reservations. You know Smoke, what? jazz cafe. Don't be rolled up and talk about, y'all going to see Marcus and G. Because it's going to be packed. It's the weekend. Friday night, Saturday, Sunday night. Yes. Three sets each night. Seven, so, nine, we need y'all. But you know what? It's but only packed if you show up. If you <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, make sure you are in the building. Because it's only packed if you show up. We need to pack out. And we got a special guest with us, Cyrus Ooh. Chestnut, on Friday the 13th and Sunday the 15th. Yes, but we got a great band on Saturday the 14th. Sullivan, Fortnite.